If you're like most men, your everyday outfits are either uninspired, unflattering, or just plain ugly. I've compiled some of my favorite looks to help you take your everyday style game to the next level. Hey you! First up, we have a cool and casual fit courtesy of one of my favorite outfit video regulars, Ryan Reynolds. So Ryan wore this particular look on the recent Deadpool Wolverine press tour, and for me, this is the perfect outfit formula for the warmer months. I know, right? So here we We've got a patterned short sleeve button up shirt layered over a crisp white tank top with some tan chinos and white low top sneakers on the bottom half. Provided you keep the rest of your outfit clean and minimal, a patterned Cuban collar button up shirt is a great addition to your wardrobe and you can layer it over a t-shirt or a tank top like Ryan has done here. As for those white sneakers, these are a classic footwear option and you really can't go wrong with a pair of leather converse low tops like the ones shown here. If you wanted to replicate this outfit yourself, the one thing I'd change would have to be those chinos. Here, Ryan has gone for a pleated version, but I always avoid wearing pleated chinos as they really can make you look a little poofy in the hip area. And if you want to know what other mistakes to avoid so you can dress better than ever before, you have to check out my Essential Wardrobe app. It will teach you everything you need to know about the must-have items in your year-round wardrobe, and it's tailored to your specific age, height, body type, and skin tone. Try it for free by hitting the link in the description box. This next outfit proves that classic style doesn't need to be overly complicated and here we're pairing a charcoal polo with white dress pants and some white low top sneakers. If you're one of those guys who's put off by white pants, I totally get it. But what's so great about this particular polo sneaker combo is that it will work with so many different options. You could easily swap out those white dress pants for some tan chinos, light wash jeans, navy linen pants, or even a pair of neutral colored shorts. Just remember that if you do go for shorts or a pair of cuffed pants, like the one shown here, you gotta be wearing no-show socks so that you get that clean and classic look. Look. Now, a variation of the last outfit can be seen here. This time, we're wearing a light blue polo shirt, some navy chinos, and a cool pair of brown suede chukka boots. Suede chukka boots are the only type of boot you can get away with wearing during the warmer months, but unlike the last outfit, this look will not work if you swapped the chinos for some shorts. Take it from an expert, unless you're hiking the trails, your shorts should never be paired with any type of boot or shoe that extends above your ankle. And can we please acknowledge that light blue polo? This particular shirt is one of my favorite warm weather items as it's light, it's breezy, and it looks great on guys of all ages, sizes, and skin tones. While we're on the subject, if you're looking to pick up a few new polos for your everyday outfit rotation, the sponsor of today's video, Pinspark, has you covered. First up, their performance polo is made from a polyester spandex blend for a lightweight and breathable feel. It has a classic three button design and the collar and placket features a contrasting interior print for some bonus style points. The moisture wicking quick dry fabric has a flexible four-way stretch and it also provides UPF 50 plus protection from harmful UV rays. And I have to shout out that split hemline, which is designed to reduce bunching and provide a flattering silhouette for guys of all body types is fantastic. Alternatively, the casual polo is also crafted from a lightweight, stretchy, and comfortable fabric blend for a feeling of all day long comfort. With a classic dress collar and an irregular split hem, this shirt has a timeless look that is as versatile as it is stylish. It works with so many different pant options and is the perfect shirt for everything from business casual dress codes to outdoor activities like golf, hiking, or tennis. Like the performance polo, it comes in a selection of really cool and neutral color options that allow for seamless pairing with your other everyday items. To get an exclusive discount off your next PinSpark order, simply head down to the description box and use the link and code provided. Big thanks to PinSpark for sponsoring this video. If you've seen any of my recent outfit videos, you may have noticed one particular color popping up more than once. Yep, it's my favorite shade right now, sage green. And here we're going for a gorgeous 
sage green overshirt worn over a gray t-shirt paired with some white jeans and brown slip-on shoes. You can make a few tweaks to this particular look to take it from good to great. First off, feel free to swap out that darker gray crew neck tee for a cool white version. And if those cream colored jeans are too light for your taste, then you could easily go for some tan chinos or a really light wash blue jean instead. As for the loafers, if they're not your vibe, I'd recommend going for some medium brown penny loafers, chaka boots, or even a pair of white low top sneakers if you want more of a casual feel. And if you want more outfit formulas for casual, elevated casual, and business casual dress codes, my essential wardrobe app has got you covered. It will show you the easiest ways to mix and match the different items in your wardrobe to create stylish outfits that work for your specific attributes. Hit the link in the description to try it for free. My next look demonstrates how to easily combine lighter colors, which is an essential style move during the warmer months. Up top, we've got an off-white short sleeve button-up shirt layered over a tank top with some lighter pants and sandals worn down below. Now, as I've already mentioned, if those lighter pants aren't your thing, you can always go for some tan or sand colored chinos or even a light blue jean. Also, I just love the use of the brown woven leather belt here, which effectively breaks up the top and bottom halves and matches the fabric and color of the sandals. Speaking of, you probably know what I'm gonna say next, right? Yep, you really shouldn't be wearing sandals unless you're near a body of water. So unless you're at the beach or by the pool, swap those babies out for some white low tops or even a pair of suede dry V mocks or espadrilles, which I think would look great here. If you're looking for something a bit more night on the town, look no further. Here, we're wearing a stone colored suede bomber jacket over a white pillow shirt with some dark wash jeans and brown chukka boots down below. Obviously, if it's a bit warmer, you could always swap out the jeans for a pair of tan or navy chinos and if those boots are just too heavy for you then go for a loafer or a sneaker instead this look would also work great without the jacket but i would not recommend a white polo shirt if you're a guy rocking a lot of chest hair or if you have dark or protruding nipples Trust me, these will be visible underneath. So if you're in doubt, I'd recommend going for a Heather Gray polo instead. One of my favorite items that has really found its place in men's style over the last few years has got to be the overshirt, AKA the shirt jacket or shacket. And I just love how it's been incorporated into my next outfit formula. So here, we're going for a navy linen overshirt worn over a navy crew neck t-shirt with a pair of tan dress pants and some navy escargils on the feet. If this outfit proves anything, it's that navy is probably the most versatile color a guy can wear, and it always looks great when paired with a cool tan shade. The matching overshirt and t-shirt might be a bit too much for you, and if so, you could easily go for a crisp white crew neck tee instead. And a pair of tan chinos would look great here if the tan dress pants aren't doing it for you. As for the footwear, I like how those navy espadrilles complement the items worn on the top half, but if they're a bit too visually heavy for you, then I'd recommend going for a brown pair or even a pair of white low top sneakers. 